Can you tell me what the word freedom means without talking? Hi guys, this is Elliot from the Little Punk People here, and today we are partying with Andrew WK, and let's party hard, let's do this. Let's have some fun. How is your new radio show on The Blaze going? Well, thank you for asking about that. Uh, it's going well, I think. It's hard for me to judge. I'm enjoying doing it immensely, but it is my first ever radio show. You probably remember when you first started doing this. You have to start somewhere. And it takes some practice, but you get better as you go. Today, actually, was uh, the second episode. And I felt like it was much better than last week, which was the first episode. So hopefully by the third episode, it will be even better. And then hopefully the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, you get the picture. It hopefully it just keeps getting better. But thank you for asking. No, well, thank you. You're welcome. What's it like being on stage with Marky Ramon? Oh, well, that's, of course, where we are today in beautiful Asbury Park, New, New Jersey, at the legendary Stone Pony, where I will be singing about 35 Ramones classic songs with Marky Ramon on the drums. And, you know, I've been doing it for two years, actually, to this very day. Our first show together was two years ago, and I still can't believe that I get to do it. It's a real privilege to sing the songs, to spend time with him. He's changed my life for the better. And uh, I feel like a very lucky young man. Um, would you guys be singing like um, Rockway Beach and that kind of stuff? Yes, in fact, that is the first song we're going to play tonight. So you are psychic. That's my favorite song. Oh, really? Oh, I like it too. Your 55 Cadillac album is beautiful. Will you make any more albums like that one? Wow, thank you even for being aware of that album. That's my solo piano album. Uh, I don't know if I'll make another one like it. I would like to, but the fact that you even brought it up means a great deal because I was very embarrassed about making an album because it was so boring, kind of. <laughs> you know, because a lot of my albums have guitars and drums and they're loud, and this one was just ding, 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 ding. But my mom liked it, so if you liked it and my mom liked it, that's good enough. Do you ever look at this guy at night and wonder if the stars are partying? Are partying? Well, I know that they're partying because they twinkle and they glisten and because there's so many of them that you can't even count and then even if you could count them, new ones would be created and some of the other ones would probably have gone away. It's fun to look up there because you realize that there's a lot going on that makes all the struggles down here seem a lot less struggly. I, um... I think that the stars are partying because I, I like I wish I can bring the stars down and party with me. Well, you're made of stars. This is true. Everything's made of the same material. So you basically are a star child, star boy, star young man, star person, and I am as well. And this is one of the great gifts of existence is that we are all essentially made of the same fundamental material. Exactly what that is, we don't even really know. But we're partying because we exist, so thank you, stars. Thank you, lucky stars. This is what I look like when I listen to your music. Oh, wow, and you're surrounded by stars. This is fantastic. You drew this? Well, this, is a, this is a great illustration. Um, it really does look like you. And uh, you have two eyes and two ears and <laughs> one nose, so those are the most crucial elements. This is great. I'm, I'm pleased to 
help generate this reaction in your, your physical face. Also, thank you for um, making me feel that way and other people. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for saying that. Do you ever envision yourself flowing above the crowd wash, watching one of your own shows? Well, uh, that would be sort of an out-of-body experience. I have sort of had that, maybe. It's quite challenging playing for me. It takes a lot of energy. Uh, it's like a physical sport, almost like athletic event. And so in that regard, it's hard for me to snap out of it. But there have been moments. There have been moments. And you know what? Tonight when I'm playing, I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to take my astral body, float it up into the sky, into the stars. Then I'll come back down, swoop back down, hover over the stage, and be like, well, this is pretty cool. And then, I'll, <laughs> then I'll go and fly around and go get some food, and then I'll come back and finish the show. I can't envision myself wa watching your show. Are you going to envision yourself floating above yourself right now? No. Well, I can't because I can see the top of your head. <laughs> your advice column is great. Who do you turn to if you ever need your own inspiration? Well, that's a great question. I'm fortunate to have friends and family. I talk to my parents a lot for advice. A lot of the advice that actually I give people in the advice column probably comes from... Excuse me, I just burped. It was bad, too. It tastes like onion. Uh, comes from my parents, advice that they gave me and other people. But you, what's a neat thing that I've learned to do from the advice column is you can actually sort of imagine if you could talk to the smartest person in the world or the strongest person in the world or just the best person if they actually existed, maybe that's even what you would some, some would call God or something, what would they say what would they tell you? You can kind of imagine sometimes what they would say, and I try to think uh, in that way as often as possible. It's challenging, though. Building or destroying? Well, they go hand in hand, for better or worse. It seems like uh, in order to build something, something usually gets destroyed. Even if you're thinking about making like a pizza, for example, you destroy the wheats to make the dough, right? and then you destroy the cow's milk to make the cheese, and then you really destroy the whole pizza to bake it. It's, it's all baked up. You destroy a tomato to make the sauce. You destroy black peppercorns to make the tasty black pepper. You destroy garlic cloves to make the garlic. And then you destroy the pizza slice when you eat it and you digest it. It turns into the worst stuff in the world and comes out the other end. And that's a type of destruction too, but it builds your body at the same time. It builds your tissue, it builds your bone mass, and it builds your water weight, especially if it was very salty. Partying or pooping? Well, it's funny that you brought that up. That's right on topic. You know, again, they kind of go hand in hand. If you don't do one or the other, you'll probably die either way. You, life requires both. Is this considered partying? Picking your nose? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> now, I'm not proud of this, but I'm not ashamed of it. I have picked my nose pretty much for as long as I can remember. And I oftentimes eat the mucus. <laughs> so I'm not proud of that again. I would also like to think, though, that I'm not the only one. And there's a lot of other folks. I hope that my honesty here encourages some kind of solidarity some kind of coming forward and self-honesty. And, and maybe I'll try to stop, but at least I try to wash my hands after I do it, <laughs> out of consideration. Knitting a blanket. Is that counted as partying, knitting a blanket? Yeah. I, absolutely. I wish I knew how to knit, then you can make all your own clothes very easy. You just go knit, 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 and then a sweater appears. You go knit, 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 and then you have a sock. Knit, 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 you have a little, little cap. Uh, my grandmother knitted, uh, knitted wonderful blankets that I still use, uh, but it takes time and patience. You have to really learn how to do it, and you have to sit, and if you really want to get elaborate with it, it's like anything else, you have to develop that skill. So I have a lot of admiration for knitters. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? I just want to say thank you for having me on your program. Thank you for your great questions, and thank you for your kindness and your, your courage, your courageousness, because uh, 
I was very nervous doing this, so maybe if you were too, but we did it, we got through it, and, 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 and now we can be very proud of ourselves. Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. Today is my birthday. Thank you very much. I have a birthday present for you. You got me a gift? Well, my mom got you a gift, oh. technically. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks to you. Oh, should I open it right now? All right. Thank you for wrapping it. An environmentally friendly paper. Oh, I think it's some kind of... Oh, wow. It's a beautiful painting. And it looks just like me. <laughs>